Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 29 of this video series. In this session, we'll see how set operators will work in ClickView set expressions. There are four set operators that are available in ClickView. Those are union, exclusion, interaction, XR or asymmetric. So union is indicated or represented by plus, exclusion is with minus, intersection is with asterisk or XR is slash. So let's quickly jump into the click view so that we'll see how this actually works. Now here I have the uh, data, uh, sales data of the uh, various car vendors and uh, uh, the data consists of country, state, city and company. Okay, so I'll be creating a simple strike table. So equals to I'll add country to my dimension as well as uh, so unit sold is the measure. So I'll write the expression sum of units sold and hash. I'm giving a label hash units. Let's finish this. So now we have the Stride table with uh, units sold country wide. It includes all the countries and all the companies, all the cities and all the states. Sales. Okay. So now I'll be sorting this in the descending order of the sales. So it will get which country has highest cost sold, that is Portugal just a sample set of data and then now we'll see the first operator which we uh, talk about is union so let's go to expression and then here we will be writing the union so the union is like so now I'll write union with country so usually set expressions will start with the flower brackets or else curly braces I'm opening the curly braces and closing it and then if you are using the modifier so uh, the modifiers will start with the angular braces and end with the angular braces close signal right so now we are going to write op i mean uh, write some modifier with the help of operators so so i'll be writing the modifier on the field country so country equals to I'm putting France. If I put France here, what will happen? Let's see. So we'll be getting only results for France. What are you select? So the desert guards of your selections, the chart will render only data for France. So suppose if you wish to have France as a default selection, apart from the selections, whatever you are doing on the country field. In that case, let's put plus here. So the country plus equals to France. So what it is doing is, so it will take your selection and add France from the click view end to it and it will show the results. Let's see here. We have selected Netherlands, right? So our selections plus click view adding France. So union of the value which you are giving in the set modifier and the value which you are selecting here in the field so if i select australia it will be australia and france if i select canada it's canada plus france so the value which you are setting in set modifier using the union operator is rendering that selection in addition to the selections that you are making with the list boxes okay so now we'll see about exclusion so the plus operator is including nothing but it is you it is doing union with the current selections okay so how to minus it so let's add exclusion so the exclusion is like replace plus with minus so apply it now you can see only canada because we have selected only canada if we select canada australia and france it always removes france okay so where this will help so you will get uh, if you get a scenario like uh, 
if your sales is having a total number includes in that so in that case you can remove the total from your selections or else from your dimension using this minus equals to so which is the exclusion okay so that's that's regarding the exclusion now we have the intersection most of the people are uh, aware of the venn diagrams so intersection is nothing but the com i mean the common part of two sides assume i have a set a this is a set a and uh, the other set is going to be this one right so now here we have two sets one is with red one is with yellow color now the set is interacting somewhere in between so that it is creating a gap here so the it's nothing but the common values of these two sets so what the intersection will do here is it will give you resultant of this common set so if i put a green color here that our result would be of this one now how we are going to implement that in click view so here we have australia canada and france now what i will do is whatever the country i'm selecting is not going to be matters for me so i want to render only sales of any country or else all the countries that you are selecting as per your wish uh, but the sales for only ford company right how we can do so it's going to be combination of company and the country so so here i'm uh, putting asterisk equals to ford and so what are the values it is rendering it should be only the uh, the combination of company ford and the country if any country is not having ford it won't give you any result germany is not having any i mean ford uh, in its country so it's not giving a value if i put australia yes it has the ford that's why it's giving so let's tally whether it is giving right result or not so saying 412 is the total 412 and minus we're saying 170 is the four units so the 242 let's click on bmw it will give you 242 it's just a simple sum of units sold so it will be rendering the value as per the selections okay so this is how it works so it will give you only the intersection of values if i click on ford here yes it gives you if you select anything other any other value it's not going to be an interaction sorry intersection uh with that so this is how right so let's jump into the next uh, operator that is xor or else asymmetric operator it's just the opponent or else the reverse of the asterisk or else uh, the intersection let's put a slash here and apply it now we'll see what will happen so click on australia we know australia has ford and bmw but it is not giving us the result of ford in our units sold because what it is doing is it will remove the value of ford and then it will display it so if i click on bmw now it will give you ford well let's see what will, what it will do for canada and australia okay let's select ford it's start going to give you the result for ford because we are just exempting the result it's not going it's, it's going to be x or asymmetric so you will get to know about this xr uh, if you work on multiple combination of values and this is very rarely used uh, operator in clickview so that's all for the session thanks for watching the video please subscribe